Hi, and thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video in which we will look at how you can add and qualify a lead in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. The leads area of Dynamics CRM is where you would normally store the contact and company details of a recently encountered lead. This might be somebody you have met at a trade show, at a networking event, or in another meeting. You can also import leads into the system using the import tool. Once entered, you would look to contact the lead and note the information about your calls before qualifying the lead into a full-blown contact and account in the system where you can record opportunities, quotes and cases, amongst other things. So here we are in the leads area of Dynamics CRM as we would see the application using Outlook. Notice we can see our leads we already have stored in the system and we can click on each one and see the additional detail below. We also have the lead specific Microsoft ribbon which allows us to perform various tasks. So to add a new lead simply click on the new button and we are presented with the new lead form to fill in. Notice that a lot of the buttons are greyed out. They will become active once you have saved the information. Simply fill in the information that you know at this stage as you can easily edit the information at a later date and notice that a lead is one person per company. See that under the Notes and Activities section, you must first have saved the record before you can start to schedule activities against your lead. Under Preferences, the owner is detailed as a logged in user and this dictates who has access to the record. This could just as well be a team of people or other users could also be given access to this user's records. You can specify contact methods, link the lead to a source campaign which will reflect in the marketing module of Dynamics CRM and specify if they should be contacted as part of future marketing campaigns. Once all information is filled in, click save and notice that you now have access to more related in functionality. You can quickly navigate to different areas of information about your lead and also see related information about your lead. For example, if I click on Activities, I can see any related activities already scheduled, but also notice that the ribbon dynamically changes, so I can now add activities as required. Clicking Save and Close, and I will now see my lead in the list as a new lead. If I want to edit the information, I can highlight my lead and click Edit, or simply double-click on my lead, and then I can make any changes I want and then save and close. Other functionality allows me to perform mail merges, check for duplicates, send emails to my lead, create connections to other CRM records, assign my lead to a different user or run workflows. 
After a period of time, when I have called my lead and maybe met with him or her, I will want to either qualify or disqualify them as a lead. To do this, simply highlight or open your lead with a double click and then click Qualify and the Convert Lead box opens. To qualify a lead, choose what records you want to create and to disqualify, just click the radio button. We will qualify and convert to a contact only and account only at this stage and will open the newly created records. Click OK. Notice now that we have a contact record with all the associated functionality which we can edit and save. We also have an account record and our lead record is now read only and set to qualified within the leads area. You can now progress selling something to your contact and account using the opportunities areas. Well there we have adding and qualifying leads in Dynamic CRM. Remember to use the help files if you have any problems, but in the meantime thanks for watching this C-Logic production.